Hey, welcome back friends. Welcome back to my office renovation. I'm standing in front of wall number two and this is gonna be a pretty cool wall number two, by the way. When I originally planned this, I was actually gonna have two sort of prints, photographs or whatever on my wall, but it kind of occurred to me that I'm pretty sure I'd get pretty bored of them after a while. And I also thought it would take me a long time to figure out what to put here. So I actually did a bit of research and I made a couple of extravagant purchases. I call them extravagant because I think it's sort of over and above, but I'm actually gonna install two of those Samsung frame TVs. The smaller ones, they're 32 inches. So I'm gonna put one here and one there. So if you wanna learn how to install them, I'm gonna be doing them vertical, which is a little bit different, but sort of the same installation technique. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to wire it, how to install it and set it up. All right, cheers. Like everything I do, it's all about the planning. I want these to be perfectly centered on the wall. I taped up two templates that are close to the actual size of the TVs. I also love drawing things out to record the measurements and positioning. The distance between the acoustic wood slats is 96 and 3 quarter inches. So using a calculator, half that, it's 48.375. I put some painter's tape to mark the centre. I also used a stud finder to mark the locations of the studs. I just need to know where they are because I'll be running cables through the wall. The next step is unboxing and I get to do it twice. There really is a significant amount of additional content with these TVs. There's an unpacking installation guide, a feet, I think they're feet, in this bag full of goodies. There's template guides, the power cable, the primary one connect cable, and the mounting hardware. It's all there. You don't even need to run to the store. This is the brains of the system. It's called the One Connect box. I'll talk about this a bit later. These mounting instructions were exceptional. Everything you need is here. This is the One Connect cable. It runs from the One Connect box to the TV. It carries both power and AV signals. There's helpful mounting templates which really make installation a breeze. You can hang this vertically or horizontally. These are the actual mounting brackets that attach to the wall. I needed to drill through the top plate to run the cable inside the wall, so I need to find a hole saw that would be big enough. This'll do. I do need to tell you that the cable that comes with the TV is not officially certified for in-wall applications. You can buy an in-wall certified cable, but they are insanely expensive, more than $200. Drilling this hole took an insane amount of time because I think my hole saw was just cheap. I actually had to use a screwdriver to pry out the wood. As you can see, the fact that I was drilling hard against concrete and going into another piece of 2x4 made it way more difficult than I thought. Second hole, rinse and repeat, safety first. As I said, the mounting templates are great. I simply taped them up to the wall using a laser level to ensure they were perfectly straight. I punched pilot holes through the templates just using a very small screwdriver. The mounting brackets are attached with two screws and drywall anchors, which are all included. You don't even need to run to the hardware store. Drywall anchors are perfectly okay hanging TVs like this. If I was hanging a larger TV, I'd like to hit a stud or two, but it's really not necessary. These TVs are not heavy. As you can see, there's plenty of wiggle room in terms of positioning these brackets. Go 
got to make sure these are perfectly level. Even though the instructions do contain detailed measurements of terms of the back, I prefer taking them exactly off the TV. My goal is to have the one connect cable exiting the wall exactly where, the, where it plugs in. I just mapped out the location of this open space and measured where it would sit. I'm going to use this retrofit bracket and then I'm going to attach one of these cable access plates to it. I mapped out exactly where I thought and hoped the empty space in the back of the TV was going to sit. I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of experience using these things. I see them all the time on YouTube and everyone looks so competent and proficient. Um, I just am never sure how much I can push them or how far they can go. And so what I did is I just cut a little square to check on my progress. Okay, so far so good. This is only the first layer of drywall that you can see was installed over the old blue wall paneling. And then under the wall paneling is actually another sheet of drywall. With everything out of the way, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to hit any studs or any cables, so then I remeasured it to the correct size. Snug as a bug in a rug. Ball 2 went much quicker. The next step is feeding this cable through the wall. Just make sure you leave the cap on when you're pulling it through, just to avoid any junk and dust that might get inside it. I used a wire puller to pull the cable. As a DIYer, I actually do find this quite challenging, whereas an expert would think nothing about this process. As a DIYer, it's perfectly okay to name tools based on the things that they do, rather than what they're actually called. It's a wire puller to me, but it's actually called a fish tape to a professional. I just use electrical tape to tape the cable to the wire pot, I mean the fish tape. This actually took way too long, but thanks to editing, it only took a few seconds. Confession time, these look pretty, but I actually took the face plates off because they bumped into the back of the TV and it just didn't have a flush finish. So this is the brain of the system. It's called the One Connect Box. This is going to be mounted in the ceiling. My electrician actually ran an outlet up there and I installed a shelf. You got the power input, you got the One Connect output, and then two HDMI inputs. Here's my shelf. Functional, not pretty. These mounting screws go into the back of the TV. Always use a screwdriver, don't ever use a power driver. You plug in the cable to the back of the TV and then you basically just hang it like a picture. Turn them on, connect to the Wi-Fi and then do the updates. Oh my God, this is amazing. I am thrilled. Couple things, they still have the protective film on them. So they're pretty dull, but it took me a while to set up through the uh, Samsung different app. Uh, it's called Smart Things. It wasn't seamless. I didn't video it. Connecting, reconnecting, two TVs with one remote is not easy. But it's it's working. There's actually a gap at the bottom just with the cable. I've got to tinker with that. Um, as I said, the film's on it. But essentially, they're up. I may come back and do another video on how I did the frames. I just grabbed a couple of images on the internet and I set them to the right size and uploaded them through my phone. It's pretty simple. This is a comic strip from my favorite comic book, Tintin. Looks amazing, but I'm actually gonna take these down. I'm gonna leave the protective film on them. I'm gonna put them back in the box. I've still gotta work on the floor and I've gotta do a bunch of other stuff in here. So I don't wanna damage these. I'm gonna take them off, but you can get to see them now and they look incredible. They Oh, I'm thrilled. It's very, very cool. All right, on to the next step.